moly, look at When all computers stuff. crash, someone has to be there to fix them. Doesn't that sound Someone dramatic? with a Dremel tool? Put that down. Okay. If you're the computer expert in your area, you can't make a house call without your mobile PC repair kit. And the rumor is that our own Yoshi D. Herrera, creator of Yoshi's Box, put the pools down. <laughs> I love this Take stuff. Take the magnifying glasses <laughs> off. We're going to start at this end because this yeah. is the basic stuff that you'll know all about. The basic, and Yoshi's going to kill me when I do this. In theory, this is the basic stuff right here, but 90% of all computing can be done with one Phillips screwdriver. Head screwdriver yeah. Some kind of a pair of pliers. Maybe. 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 That's, you're getting fancy on us. And a flashlight if you can't see what's going on right. inside your system. This will handle 90% of computing problems. But, but when these let you down, the other 10% get your peddler's pack out can require pretty much everything else on this table. Yoshi, is this really like stuff that you actually have that yeah. you carry around? This is really yeah. yours? This is, he is a madman. Actually, and then there's a 0.001% that can only be fixed by a sledgehammer. <laughs> we'll talk right. about that later Let's on. talk about what we got. We've got a good set of screwdrivers. What are these? These don't look like screwdrivers. Those are jeweler screwdrivers. They're so those are little tiny screwdrivers, and that one actually is a Torx driver. You can barely see that against the background. Yeah, on Macintoshes, this is what you need to get into the Mac. They don't use standard screws. They use Torx heads. And it varies with the model of, of Macintosh, And it does. Too. You can't just get one Torx. But these are these are really great to have. On some computers, you've yeah. got to have those. And on the, remember on the old Mac Classics, you needed a T10 Torx <laughs> that was 18 inches long, which most of us welded wacky, together ourselves. Wacky stuff. Let's talk about this. Tools are obvious. Wrenches, you know, cable wire cutters, cutters, very handy. Very cutter, like uh, electrical wire cutters. Mm -hmm. There's this whole area over through here. We've got our spare boot discs, our ghost discs, startup discs, CDR. So this is the repair data. software that you yeah, need well, to have. This is like the repair software. And the reason we have all these cards down here is if you go into somebody's house, they're like, well, my graphics card doesn't work. Well, if you have a spare graphics card with you that you know works, you can swamp it out and know right then and there if it's really the graphics card or the graphics card drivers. A lot of the process of fixing the, things is troubleshooting by swapping things right. in and out. So you've got to have something to swap. If it was a car, you'd go, does it have gas? Does it have air? Does it have spark? Right, and then you figure out what's going on. Speakers. Well, is there you know is there are there speakers is, dead or is, is the sound card dead? You got to be able to swap those out. Floppy, Floppy drive, CD extra CDR, or? DVD drive. One of those. Why Hard we're... drive here. Let's start sweeping down here. Spare bits and pieces. Every time Yoshi or I, I or Darcy this. or probably even you, we get like one of those case kits. We save all of the extra parts. Yep. The reason we save all the extra parts is eventually we need one, and now we have an entire box. I don't say them this in such up. a nice container. I have a cardboard box with everything in it. Spare AA batteries. We got BNC connect. Not used real often outside of the studio. RJ45 connectors for Ethernet. All this kind of good you stuff. You can make in your there. own cables with this stuff. Yes, you could. As a matter of fact, if we <laughs> slide, where is it? There's one over here. Here's our here. Cable, cut, cable tool. We've got like cable tools, that. RJ45s for creating our own RJ45 cables. The, uh, that's actually, uh, that there is the uh, Ratchet Telemaster. That's a fabulous <laughs> device there. You could always use that. Uh, and it makes a fabulous spaghetti sauce, a bolognese. I can only make this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I see you have some cleaning stuff here. Yes, this, is a, this is important to have as well. You've got your canned air. And that's for what, blowing out dust and, and so forth? Cleaning the keyboard, blowing out dust, discovering that there's big chunks of gray cat hair stuffed inside of a fan. A little bit of rubbing alcohol. Now this has a little bit of, uh, this has uh, got Kick a little bit it. of glycerin in it. Boy, it hurts. <laughs> so you might want to try to find an alcohol that doesn't, not yeah. rubbing alcohol, but an alcohol that a is denatured not alcohol. denatured without the rubbing, uh, the glycerin part. What do we need lighter fluid for? Just uh, lighter fluid or goof off. Oh, it's goof off. get stains off of things uh, I got or it. some of the nastier stuff. And also, of when you get tips. stickers that you can't you get the, the, the gum... Let me see in here. Leo requires. Oh, oh it goes right through. It comes oh, out the other good end. Lord. Get out of there. This, you don't, that's my not ear. That on air. Now, what are these? These are twist ties, and, I, and I understand ties. that. But what is what is this? Thing? That's so you can secure a zip tie to the side of a case if you so want to put some cables out of the way. It's got a little sticky on this side. You remove the sticky mm -hmm. thing, and, then you, and then you can put the cables, the twist tie through there, and then tie it down. That's Just actually a really nice like way to make that. your case be very tidy inside, unlike my case. Go a little to the right of there. We've got the ever popular heat shrink cable and of course thermal grease which goes between your heat sink and your processor what is heat shrink cable how do you, how do you well use if that? i do we have a do we have a lighter up here who's got a lighter some, you need actually a hair dryer a would be better than a lighter it's true uh, something that blows warm air you, they actually is a special because tool you're to a use sophisticated for man from an upper class background and i started doing this on cars but you either way, use a lighter because I would light that on fire if I did. Well, that. you've got to move it quickly. But the idea is, you wrap this around a bunch of pieces of wiring, and as you heat it, look at it that, it shrinks. It shrinks, heat, ladies and heat gentlemen. Heat shrink. Don't do that at home. Get the special heat shrink hair dryer. Right. Patrick's a trained professional. For a heat shrink hair dryer. What is this? Now we're getting to the. This is the more sophisticated stuff. As we over get here. towards this end of the table, we get more arcane and more specific. Let's what does this do? That's like a labeling you? tool for some of us, such as myself and Yoshi, who have handwriting that is recognizable by ourselves and our mothers, and only occasionally by our mothers. 
This is a labeling tool. It's like the Brother P Touch in. that, uh, and you can. Those just, used to be hundreds of the, dollars. The now old, they're like twenty bucks. The old Dymo labelers. Yeah. But really, because yeah, these were very expensive. I always wanted one, so they're, they're inexpensive. Bucks. Oh, cheap, that's great. Cheap, cheap, cheap. And it prints out a nice looking label. We're also getting into sort of the more high end arcane cables. Wait a minute. Why do we have a little uh, a little uh, thermometer? A, think of it as a thermal probe, Leo. If you're, if you're trying to figure out what the case heat is like, do I need the, the do I need the thermal grease for the thermal probe? We're not going to thermal talk about that on All thermal right. air. Thank you very much. Let's go to the thermal right. Moving right along. Extra fans. One of the things you could do is you could put your thermal probe on your thermometer inside a case, put an extra fan in it, and see whether or not it goes down. Magnifying glasses when you're working on very very small things. That way you don't have to sit there trying to hold it. Voltometer for testing voltages. We've got a cable tester right here. We actually physically plug the cables. If you look at the end of this, you plug the cable These in here. These are great to have. You hit a button and it tells you whether or not the cable is properly wired and properly working the way it's supposed to. Now this is, we're getting a little more expensive. This yeah. is the stuff Yoshi spent some good money on. Well, I'll tell you what, the more you do this and the more difficult the problems you start to work with, you know what, and you get down to some really basic tools. An amplifier probe. We'll talk about that when you're older, Leo. Okay. <laughs> Over to the right, we also have a couple of soldering guns. We've got a low wattage soldering gun for working, actually, maybe reattaching resistors and stuff to a motherboard or an electrical device. And the big honking soldering iron for maybe soldering stuff to a case or an antenna. The Dremel tool, this is probably the tool most often used in creating Yoshi's box because this is how he cuts all of those holes in the case so he can access all the games in there. These are really cool, but also very, very dangerous. You, you don't want to, no, kids don't use this. Do not lick the drum tool. I, I can't, I'm not even allowed to use it without parental supervision. You're not allowed to use it, period. Yeah. And these are the scariest pliers. What, those seen. pliers, what do you use those for, Yoshi? See these, these are kind of angly, kind of funny. Is well, sometimes just, you just can't quite get at something straight on. You like, need just you a little get, bit of an oh, angle to I get it. That. How long has it taken you to put this case together? How many years of uh, time and life labor have you put into this, yeah. Yoshi? This uh, is, well, you deserve a lot of credit for this. This is amazing. This is my small version. What? <laughs> this is the portable version. What? All this goes into what, a backpack? Yeah, all this goes into one backpack. Now, what you could do, you can use a regular toolbox. This is the kind of toolbox I used to use. This is I, Patrick's I toolkit. This is actually my toolkit inside of here. I'm going to put this down real quick. If you're really sophisticated. I feel so pathetic. If you don't mind a hernia. You can do something more what professional. Is this, is this yours, Yoshi, or this is Patrick? This is from my engineering. This is from the engineering we department. We actually started. Right, we're running out of time. He's going to panically. I feel this. so bad because really all I have is a Phillips screwdriver. This is a little more sophisticated, where there's Vaseline. slots and drawers for everything inside of there. Let go of the thermal probe report for a list of the parts we recommend you have in your PC repair kit. Go directly to thescreensavers.com. Do not stop to check your temperature. <laughs> Megan, you got the quote of the day, my dear. Yeah, can I have that? Can I have some of those? Why do the yeah. boys get the toys? It doesn't seem fair. Here, I'll give you a Dremel toy. Okay, I, but I will not lick the Dremel. Please. That is not the quote of the day. Do not lick the Today's Dremel. Today's quote that of the day, That would be a good quote of the day, though, yeah. Is, Magilink says, if one synchronized swimmer drowns, do they all have to? Oh.